Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Sesh and today we're doing a walkthrough video tutorial of using the Silent Swap platform. If you don't know what Silent Swap is, it is one of the many utilities being built by Shiptoshi and the devs over at Squid Grow. If you're not already in Squid Grow, make sure you pick yourself up a bag, not financial advice, and a percentage of the revenue generated from Silent Swap will go back into buyback or liquidity injections into the Squid token, which will only make the token and the chart go higher and and higher and higher. But anyways, let's get into it. Silent Swap is a fully non-custodial, privacy-orientated cross-chain aggregator. I know. It's a lot of words. It lets you swap tokens from one chain to another and in the process moves them through the secret network to create a completely private transfer of funds. The most profound aspect of Silent Swap is its fully non-custodial architecture. And at no point along the way does any centralized authority take possessions of your funds. That's a big one. Instead, your device securely generates a bunch of child wallets owned by your Ethereum account and signs transactions along the way, authorizing token transfers and swaps on decentralized exchanges. And now here we are at the Silent Swap beta testing webpage. Currently, while I'm filming this, we are in beta mode. By the time you see this, it will be public. So we're just gonna scroll through the page and go through the little in and outs of what we have here. First up, we have the big yellow button, connect wallet. But before we do that let's just touch on some of the things we have on this page so silent swap is available across all evm chains ethereum binance polygon avalanche phantom and so on and so on we have this cool little function here where we have semi-private and max privacy and just in case you're like well what's the difference between semi-private and max private does max private mean that's the only way it's going to be private when i transfer my funds the simple answer is no semi-private works just as well as max private i'm not like a scientist doctor when it comes to all this kind of stuff so i'm gonna let the man ship toshi explain for you himself i will go on to say that you don't have to turn on max privacy in order to uh, have several outputs when you toggle on max privacy it makes it to where you have to have a minimum of two outputs versus standard privacy you have the option to add additional outputs if you choose to up to 16. so there is a difference and as he said max privacy is a little more in fees i personally prefer the standard privacy myself but it's essentially you know there is a difference in the privacy but you know uh, i myself like the standard privacy but i have played around with obviously both but uh, it's just preference i guess if you want to keep your fees down obviously standard privacy is the way to go if you want to make sure that it's very very hard to deobfuscate then obviously max privacy is the way to go now the cool thing here with silent swap is depending on what chain you're going with we have every single token you could imagine let's just type in shiba inu there you go but today we'll just be experimenting with usdt let's type in a thousand dollars and let's see what it calculates for us. We are transferring from USDT to USDC, which this wallet here would be receiving $917. And if we come down here to the breakdown, we can see where all the money is going. $60 to the bridge to EVM. We have the bridge to Cosmos. We have the bridge to Osmosnostos. I can't even pronounce that. And then we have gas fees and then the service fee. Now the service fee is the fee that will be going back to Silence Swap, which will be used as buybacks for the tokens squid grow or liquidity injections now obviously there have been many examples of people sending four thousand five thousand dollars and actually receiving more money from the receiving wallet i know I, I don't i can't make sense of it either but yeah it's pretty cool now let's connect our wallet and show you how this is done so first thing we're going to do is connect wallet i'm with trust wallet so i click trust and today i'm going to show you two transactions i've done the first one ethereum usdt to ethereum usdc we'll be sending $500. So here we can see the total fees. Keep in mind the $92 is not the gas fee. Once you're ready, click I agree to terms of use and privacy policy, then click execute swap. And then once it gets to preparing express route, make sure you have your wallet open to sign the transaction. Keep in mind this is just an estimate. And the thing about silent swap is that it's constantly recalculating the best swap path to maximize the output amount you end up getting. But because they're using multiple decentralized exchanges, changes across different chains, the prices of token pairs are constantly changing. So keep in mind, you may end up getting a slightly different amount than estimated depending on volatility. Silent Swap has an automatic
automatic privacy built into the app. But as we all know, privacy is not a simple yes or no. There's a nuance to it. It's a spectrum. And as you can see in this privacy thermometer thing down here, my current privacy score is good, but it can always be a lot better. With the max privacy toggle on, Silent Swap is going to prioritize a higher level of privacy on my swap. But that's going to result in a slightly higher slippage. Privacy has a cost, and that's why Silent Swap is giving you the option to decide what you're comfortable with. The other thing this toggle does is that it requires you to provide at least two outputs. In general, the more outputs you add, the harder it's going to be for others to trace the swap, which results in better privacy. But in this example, I'm just doing semi-private. Once the deposit has been confirmed, the order tracking package shows the progression of swaps and transfers along the way. It's important to keep this tab open and visible so that your child wallets can sign those transactions. However, the app is designed to be robust as possible. So if anything goes wrong for any reason, say your phone battery dies mid swap, you can always reload the silent swap page later and the service will automatically resume right after where it left off. Finally, for the last example, we're going multi-chain and I will do Ethereum to BNB. Once again, connect wallet. As we can see, my privacy score is pretty good, but it can always be improved if I want to go max privacy. Once I agree to terms, I click execute swap. Friendly reminder to keep your wallet open to pay for the gas fee slash transaction. Once it's done executing bridge, you'll see this cool little pop-up thing on your screen. Then we are brought back to the order created page where silent swap does its thing. Now, as we're waiting, I will mention that every transaction I did today in these examples took me roughly eight to 11 minutes. Once it's done, your toggle bar should show it's completed. And that's it guys. I really hope all of this made sense to you. I know to a lot of people out there that are probably getting into crypto for the first time, they're just, it's just going over their head. They're like, what the fuck is going on? I'm telling you right now, once you get into making a lot of money in crypto, you don't want people to know where you're keeping your funds. And I guarantee you that SilentSwap is the best platform and application available on the market. Cause let's be honest, if you had a million dollars, fuck, even a hundred thousand dollars, do you really want people to know how much money you have? I know there's probably some people out there that want to flex and let people know but at the end of the day your privacy and safety should be your number one priority i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i'll catch you guys on the next one squid grow squid go low my squid go loco squid go low my squiddy go loco squid go low